Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's Jack with Stronghold Strength and Conditioning. And today, I've got my top back mobilities to help you improve that range of motion and flexibility throughout the spinal column. But before we get into it, make sure you take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content like this. Every Thursday, I'm putting out videos showing you how to resolve aches and pains, prevent the injuries, and overall optimize your performance inside the gym and outside of it. It doesn't get much better than that, so go ahead and jump on it. Ready? Let's go ahead and dive into this. So today we're going to be showing you some of my favorite back mobility exercises to help you restore range of motion and flexibility through your spinal column. Now if you've been around long enough or if you've gone through my seven day mobility training challenge, you'll know that the very first place that we want to look when it comes to improving your overall mobility is that spinal column, the ability to organize the spinal column properly and stabilize it. And a lot of times with daily adaptations that we currently have, we are not organized very well. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys those mobilities that are my favorite to bring that spinal column back into good positioning, restoring mainly thoracic extension and rotation through the spinal column because those are the two that we tend to miss out on through those daily adaptations. And if you haven't already, I did mention my seven day mobility training challenge. That is linked down below in the description here. You could get started today by signing up and it is a general overview of a miniature approach to improving your mobility, no equipment necessary, 15 minute sessions. They are all body weight stuff that you can do right from home or wherever pretty much. And it is a litmus test for your body to take it from head to toe and find missing ranges of motion, lacking flexibility and lacking control or stability around those joints that could be causing your training aches, pains, or injuries. So if you haven't taken advantage of it, sign up down below and get started today. All right, without further ado, let's dive into these mobilities. Exercise number one, grab your broomstick and you'll notice my elbows are narrow compared to my wrist. You're gonna need something to push off of here. Here I'm using my box, an arm of a couch works well too but I wanna be kneeling and driving the elbow tips back. So I'm trying to lean my head between my arms in this position. The dowel is to help my shoulders get in external rotation as I force into thoracic extension here. So I wanna keep my abs tight to make sure it's not my lumbar spine that extends. Thoracic extension is our goal. We should feel those scapulas sliding down and back on the mid back there as we drive the elbows up high in the overhead position. Exercise number two, grab your kettlebell and your foam roller. You can also use a plate, but kettlebell works well because I can hug that handle there. One arm on top, one arm below. We're still working thoracic extension here. So what you'll see is I kind of move to different ranges of the thoracic spine. I'm keeping the abs tight and then I'm actively arching over the foam roller. So I'm trying to actively pull myself back over the foam roller in that position, which engages the musculature of the upper back. But I also am able to adjust my spinal column using the top load there. Now, if you don't have a weight or if you've never done this before, you can do those same active arches without any weight on top to begin with. Next, I'm going in a full overhead biased position here. So I'm using an anchor point and I'm using the kettlebell. You can use the couch or anything heavy, coffee table. But I want to be able to grab low toward the floor in this overhead position. My shoulder blades are down and back. My chin is tucked towards my Adam's apple. My butt is tight. My quads are tight. My stomach is tight. And here we're just working in thoracic extension in the overhead positioning. This is a good one for overhead work in the gym. Next, we're gonna do a little spinal rotation here, but I'm using a band at the hip to actually provide a traction. So we're doing a classic spinal twist, but I like to add a little bit of a thoracic rotation pull through the shoulder here. So I place my hand behind my head and I'm actively trying to pull my shoulder blade, my forearm to the floor and pull into that rotation more and more each time. So maybe a two, three second flex as I do that. 
And here I'm showing a fully extended leg. So I tried a couple different positions here at the hip, leg fully extended there, 90 degrees at the hip, and now rotating and just holding that position after we've opened up some of that rotation through those active pulls in the first exercise there. So here is now passive, but once again, that traction of the band is key. All right, and our final rotation here, using the foam roller, you're gonna place it right between the rib cage and the pelvis there, so those obliques are on the foam roller. My bottom leg, knee out front 90 degrees, my back leg, knee down 90 degrees at the knee. So I want that back knee to touch the floor there the whole time. And then I'm reaching under the planted arm deep and extending up toward the ceiling each time I reach through. All right, and there you guys have it. My top back mobility exercises to help you maintain that range of motion and flexibility. These are gold right here if you do a lot of sitting throughout your day. If you guys like the video, make sure you let me know by clicking that big thumbs up down below and take a moment to share this one with a friend. You know that they do too much sitting throughout the day as well, so you might as well show them some love. And if you have not already, make sure you sign up down below for that seven day mobility training challenge. Seven days, 15 minute sessions, pre-programmed out for you, no equipment necessary, all geared at identifying missing ranges of motion, flexibility, and the motor control that is putting you at risk for training aches and pains and injuries. So it's to set you up in the right direction, take advantage of it, start today. And last but not least, if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content like this. Every Thursday, I'm putting out videos showing you how to resolve those aches and pains, prevent the injuries, and overall optimize your performance inside the gym and outside of it. And it really doesn't get much cooler than that. Welcome to the Stronghold Army. I'll catch you guys in 2021.